Halitophobia, the irrational fear of poop. I'm a halitophobic. I want my cheesy bread. I'm not so much afraid of me having bad poop. I'm afraid of other people having poop. Maybe you should develop a case of halitophobia. <laughs> As in, hey buddy, your breath smells like crap! Um, or in this case, poop! Yeah, now I know what you're asking. How do we know if we have bad breath? You use this. You use a spoon. Now I know what you're thinking. A spoon, you <laughs> A spoon, you <laughs> spoon, you <laughs> My mother! Yeah, you take the spoon. <laughs> uh, you take the spoon and you stick it at the back of your tongue and gently scrape. Let it dry and take a whiff. If it stinks, take a whiff. Your breath stinks. And if your breath stinks, my mother! With a spoon. You, the smart viewer out there will know to check your bad breath. You notice that we checked. 90% yeah. of bad breath comes from testicles. On the tongue. On your tongue. Now your mom doesn't sound so stupid for telling you to. A big dick. Now does she? Tongues are like sponges, soaking up all that bacteria. Toothbrushes are meant to clean the smooth surfaces of your. Yeah. Not your testicles. The tongue scraper just goes over the top of your testicles. This ain't gonna work. And Filipino hookers. This is like trying to clean your carpet with a hose. You're just watering down the problem. And then there's the shit option, the aura brush. The soft bristles feel great on my butt. Just go back and forth a few times, then go all the way back, pull it forward, and see what comes off. <laughs> then use it at night, right before bed. Mm -hmm. Just go back and forth a few times, then go all the way back, pull it forward, and see what comes off. You know what I'm talking about. Oh!